Hello friends, and today I'd like to show you a small feature using one of the effects nodes to isolate one or more colours in a vector or tune raster level in open tunes, or the vector or smart raster level as we've got here into Homer 2D. So here's my drawing that I made last week that showed you how you can paint shadows and highlights onto a character to make them appear more three-dimensional. And if you missed that, you can follow the card above or find a link in the description below. And you might remember in that video I used the matte in effect to draw the shadows and highlights over the character. And you need to turn on preview in the viewer at the top right here to see the actual output. And with this on you may have noticed that when I added a yellow highlight to the left hand side of his face as I've done here, it's also highlighted over the black ink line, changing its colour. But where I used a black shadow, this didn't affect it. And often you won't notice this, and it'll be fine. But if you strictly wanted your ink lines to not change colour, there's two things you can do. One of them I'll show you next week, and that's to have your lines and fills in a different column. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss when that comes out. And the second method is that on these two level types, the vector and the smart raster level, all of your colours are indexed in the palette, but you can apply an effect to include or exclude specific palette entries through the effect schematic. So if I go to my FX room, and here for instance you can see I'm using a matte in effect to ensure that the shadows and highlights are shown only where there is ink and paint on the Asher column, and that means that it'll appear over his skin and the outline, which is fine for most cases, but not for our yellow highlight. So what can we do? Well, if we don't want this highlight over the line, we can add the palette filter effect to exclude the black line from the mat. So go to a room with the effect schematic, as we have in the default FX room into Homer 2D, or show one from the panels menu, and that's the windows menu in OpenTunes. And once you've got the schematic visible, if you can't see this FX button at the bottom, then you're viewing the stage schematic view. So just click the toggle button at the very bottom right of the panel, and that'll toggle between the stage schematic and this FX schematic. And now we can see the FX button, so we know this is the FX schematic. So simply right click anywhere on the background, and choose Add FX. And into Homer, we go down to the to Homer 2D level section. And in Open Tunes, it's the Tunes level group. And find the palette filter and click that. And then we just plug in the column that we want to change the palette for. So that's from the Asher node because it's the lines in Asher that we want to remove. So click and drag from the output of Asher and plug it into the source of the palette filter and then replace the input to the mat instead of directly from the Asher node, which would include all the lines and fills for all colours. Instead, plug the output from the palette filter into the matte input that the shadows goes into. And then, either double click on the palette filter effect node to get the FX options for this effect, or if you've got them docked as I have at the bottom here, just selecting the node shows them. And in these options, you enter the index of the colours to apply this filter to. And for me, it's just the black palette entry, which is the second colour in my palette. So if I show the palette view here, and I'll show that from the panels menu, and then choose palette. And the colours in your palette are zero indexed. So the first transparent colour is colour zero, black is one, and so on. And in open tunes, you can see the index of each colour on the thumbnail in any of the thumbnail views. But in Tahoma, you have to select to show it from this menu at the bottom. So tick show style index. And then if you're in any of the thumbnail views, you can see the index at the bottom right of the palette entry here. But in the list view, you can't see that index. So back to a thumbnail view and it's colour index number one for the black that I'm interested in. 
So in the colour indexes, I'll just enter one. So then you select what you want to do with this colour. And for this case, we want to ignore any lines and areas that use the colour, so that only the other colours are used for the mat. So we choose Delete from the action. But this doesn't actually delete anything, it just removes them from passing through this node into the next node, to the mat in. So only lines and areas with any other colour will be used for the mat. And don't forget that the line will still be drawn because we've still got Asher that's connected through to the output. And it's this connection that actually draws the line and the painted areas. We want this removal or deletion of colour index 1 to apply to all lines and areas. But there are a few other options that you might want to consider using. And using this node and choosing the right option can take a little getting used to. But if you're unsure, just try out the different values in the drop down while the preview mode is on, and you'll soon get used to it. So, with this marked as delete lines and areas for colour index 1, if I turn on the preview and then zoom into the line, you'll see that the black line is now solid black. And that's because it's not being used as the mat. And if I briefly unplug this Asher node by clicking and dragging to highlight over the line and then pressing the delete key, and now you'll see precisely what these remaining nodes do. So they just draw the shadow for the dark area and for the yellow highlight area in the final output. And if I plug the Asher node back to the scene, it'll add the drawing of Asher underneath, with the black lines still being visible. So that's using the palette filter effect. And using this node, you can more precisely manage how your colours are used which will help you create lots of different types of effects. It's really useful in so many situations. So have a go with it and then start to think how you might use it. It'll definitely be helpful one day. And that's a guarantee. Mm -hmm.